Hey, what's going on YouTube? As you guys can see, this is the first video when I'm actually going to be talking to you guys instead of being always behind the screen. I figured that way the tutorial is going to be slightly a little bit more entertaining. You also guys can follow along on the screen. This is my computer screen and over here is my reference monitor. Obviously, I'm going to be switching footage back and forth. That way you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. So this is going to be our another unscripted tutorial. Besides one thing, in this tutorial, I want to add a little bit of rain in our shot. So, how I'm going to do this, I don't know. I don't use uh, color grading software to add visual effects. I usually uh, do this kind of work either in After Effects, which is pretty easy, or uh, Nuke. But mostly After Effects, because it's uh, easily available, okay? As far as the look, it's completely unscripted. I have no idea what I'm going to do with the shot. And, like in my previous tutorials, I downloaded this footage from the red.com, okay? You guys can check it out and download tons of different samples from different cameras they have. Really cool, really recommend. Alright, so let's get started. In my first node, as always, I'm gonna plug 2 and 10 in my denoising. Always start your footage with the denoising. Because if, for example, if you're gonna be retouching skin, or doing some kind of secondaries, it's always nice to uh, to have a cleaner footage to begin with rather than fixing it after you already start doing some kind of grading. Let's put 2, let's put 10. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in so that way we can check it out before and after. Let's take a look. Before and after before and after. I don't know if you guys can see this on YouTube, but trust me, there's a huge difference. So that's going to be our first note. I'm going to call this NR, noise reduction. Okay, so the next step. Next step, uh, I want to bring up scopes over here. That way you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. And based on the scopes, I kind of don't like this a little bit because in my opinion, this was slightly a little bit overexposed than what I personally like working with. And my next step is going to be adjusting exposure. Okay, exposure. That's going to be my second node. So in the second node, I'm just going to make curve just like this. I want to make sure that we can see a little bit of clouds. So let me show you before and after. Before and after <laughs> and again just by bringing exposure down a little bit we can see already that the pictures start becoming more cinematic always remember that if you want to achieve a real cinema look you don't have to stretch your image all the way to the top because for example depending on tvs that people have cheap tvs don't go all the way to uh, 123 on the on the rgb parade for example in the venture resolve it's usually blows up after about 800 so always keep that in mind if you're grading okay okay so that's my second step exposure the next step uh gonna be look i'm gonna start building look okay and i'm gonna convert this into parallel mixer okay so i kind of want to make it feel a little bit cold like it's sort of a winter time sluggish um, and in my look, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to decrease the temperature of this picture. Okay, and I'm just going to dial it down. Just like this. So it's kind of look a little bit more winter-like, okay? So let's check it out. Before and after. Before and after. Right now it's kind of look a little bit amateurish, but trust me, we're going to get amazing look from this. So, what's going to be my next step? Well, my next step, I'm going to start uh, dialing look number two. Look number two. And I think the, the top one, I should just rename it to temperature. Okay, so in look number two, uh, I, don't wanna, I don't want our image to be a little too edgy, but I also want to make it a little bit stylized. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to Cut the blacks just a little bit. Let me see. Just a little bit, just like that. And as you can see, uh, the the image becoming slightly a little bit milky. But I'm going to compensate that 
by dragging bottom midtones a little bit more down. That way we're going to create the contrast at the bottom level of the midtones. Okay? So let's check it out. Before and after. Before and after. And as you guys can see, it's already started getting a very interesting look. So, note number two. I'm going to call this relighting. Re relight. Okay? And I'm going to adjust a little bit of lighting in this node. And I'm going to be working in the luminance. Okay, so I'm going to select qualifier. And I'm just going to do a little bit just like this. I think like that looks decent. Okay, and what I'm going to do with this, I'm just going to spike it just a tiny bit. And I'm going to spike it actually using the curve. So I'm going to turn off the highlight. And I'm going to give it a little pop, sort of, in the shadows. Okay? So, if I'm going to turn on and off what we've done grading, that is already look really, really cool. So, what is the catch with the rain? As I was telling you guys at the beginning of the tutorial, I actually have a motion uh, VFX over here, the rain file. Uh, it's basically like a, a regular stock footage of the rain. Nothing fancy if you guys can see, just, just rain. And um, I right click on this one and I selected add to media pool as matte. <clears throat> and if I'm going to go back to the grading, I'm going to create another node. And I'm going to turn it into layer node, okay? And in this layer node, watch this. Hold on, let me stretch it. I'm going to move things around, that way you guys can see a little bit better. Okay, I know it's kind of a little confusing uh, a little bit like this, but trust me, you're going to like the final result. <laughs> so basically, I'm going to be working in a node number 9, and I'm going to right-click on this, and I'm going to select Add Matte, Timeline Mats, and I'm going to select my Drizzle file. Alright, so nothing happens. I'm going to come over here, right-click, and I'm going to select Add. And as you can see, we have a drizzle been added to our footage. How cool is that? And depending on the drizzle file, you can either shrink it or, you know, whatever you want to do with it. So, for example, here's one interesting thing. First of all, when I added this thing, it increased a little bit of brightness over here, which I don't like. And number two... If I'm going to use a qualifier, you can see that the rain going in front of the screen, which is kind of look cheesy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come to the qualifier and I'm going to use luminance. And in the luminance, I'm just going to pull it down just like that. Basically, kind of creating a mat like you would do in, in, in Photoshop or After Effects. And basically that mat going to be in front of it, so our rain going to appear behind it, okay? So let's check it out. And as you can see, we're only working on the right side because that's what our rain file is. So let's turn it off. And as we can see, we have our rain coming from the right side of the image, okay? And if I'm going to double click on the mat, I can dial it down a little bit let's see let me let me pan it slightly actually I'm doing it in the wrong uh, I have to do this over here and I'm gonna dial it slightly down just a little bit because you can see in our scopes we're actually clipping a little bit so if I'm gonna dial it down it's going to look very nice, just like this. Also, I can add slightly a little bit more blur, just like that. And we're pretty much almost done. I'm going to move all those things around. Okay, let me move it around. I'm going to create another node. And in this node, I'm going to call it Final Contrast. 
Okay, and th in this final contrast, I'm just going to do a little S-carve. Kind of just like that. I probably wouldn't even call it S-curve, but something like this. Okay, and finally, one more. I'm going to add a little bit of film grain. Film convert. I'm going to add film grain. I'm going to turn off the film color and the curve. And I'm going to choose 16 millimeter film grain from this. And finally, to put cherry on top, I'm just going to add a classic 235 mat. That way our shot looks pretty cinematic. So let me uh, select this thing. Oops. Let me select this and choose GPU. That way it plays back a little bit faster. And let me move the scopes. Okay. And as you guys can see, and I'm going to show this final result in the be at the beginning of my tutorial. We turned a very simple image into very cinematic uh, footage. So hopefully you like this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget, subscribe. See you later.